On the 13th of February, 1942, HMS Thrasher, a T-class submarine commanded by Lieutenant Hugh McKenzie, departed Alexandria in Egypt and began her eighth war patrol. Three days later, near Suda Bay in Crete, Thrasher attacked a German merchant vessel, although, contrary to the citation, she didn't sink it, and was subsequently counterattacked by ships and aircraft, evading 33 death charges. That night, when surfaced, it was discovered that they had not evaded all of the bombs dropped. The sub started to roll, and the sounds of unexploded ordnance moving around inside the casing could be heard. Two bombs could later be seen. To remove them, two men volunteered to go out and climb inside the casing. 27-year-old Petty Officer Tommy Gould, the second coxswain, who'd been in submarines for almost five years, and 24-year-old Lieutenant Peter Roberts, who joined the boats on the outbreak of war and had risen to First Lieutenant, or XO as we'd say now. To deal with the first bomb, they put a big potato sack around it, dragged it 100 feet to the bow, and dropped it off, while the sub put on a stern power to clear it. The second bomb was awkwardly wedged inside the casing and was much more difficult to move. Petty Officer Gould, lying on his back, grasped the device while Lieutenant Roberts pulled him along the hull. For 40 minutes, they moved the bomb this way, it making a loud twanging sound whenever it moved until they were able to reach a grating and get it out, after which they put it in a sack and disposed of it as they had the first one. Finally, soaked, the two men climbed back inside the sub. The captain's only words to them were to dry off. Four months later, their VCs were announced. Now, these two awards are a little unusual in that actions like this were usually awarded with the George Cross, created in 1940 to recognize civilians or acts not in the presence of the enemy, such as rescuing people from collapsed buildings or dealing with unexploded ordnance. However, Admiral Cunningham, Commander-in-Chief of the Mediterranean Fleet, argued for the Victoria Cross in this instance, as Thrasher was in enemy-patrolled waters and was always at risk of being spotted from the air. Had this happened, the sub would have had to crash dive with no time for Petty Officer Gould or Lieutenant Roberts to get back inside. What happened next to these two men? Lieutenant Roberts went on Perisher, the submarine command course, after this patrol, but failed out on almost the same day his VC was gazetted and went back to the surface, where he remained for the next 20 years. He later died in 1979. Petty Officer Gould remained in submarines for the rest of the war, later commissioning in the Naval Reserve and working with the Freemasons and the International Submarine Association for many years afterwards. Finally dying in 2001 as the only Jewish Victoria Cross recipient of the entire war.